more and more South Africans today are interested in what's our medium to long-term future. Are you guys, and together, are we actually building institutions that are going to serve us today and future generations? And are we creating uh, public servants with the right integrity, with the right values, with the right skills, earning the right salary to serve all 55 million South Africans? And that's, that's the goal that all of us should uh, strive towards. We have CEOs in this room, and I'm wondering, what is your message to them? What should they be doing for their organizations to thrive, but for our economy to thrive? Yes, let's find endogenous ways. Let's find our own ways of generating growth. Now, what does that mean? Firstly, it means inspiring confidence in our own economy. Secondly, it means investing in our own economy. Thirdly, it means making our economy a lot more inclusive than it is. Our economy is still, in major sectors, still oligopolistic. Too few firms, too little competition, too few medium-sized businesses, very few small businesses. And in particular, the, the, the participation of people from black communities in our economy is still limited. And yet there's a, there's a whole new generation uh, of young people who are coming up with new ideas, uh, new entrepreneurial skills and, and talents, and we need to create an ecosystem, and are, I think, creating an ecosystem, uh, where they, they have new opportunities. So I think we have some good things going for us. Uh, the key is, is to create a, a unity of purpose, which is what, when the President assigned uh, Mr. Mabuza and myself, on behalf of business and uh, government to say, gather all the resources we have, human for a start, ideas, but also the financial resources, uh, to try and generate different kinds of activity. I think uh, there are a number of CEOs here who've contributed to that. We need to uh, turbocharge that, which will inspire more uh, energy on the one hand, and start creating a momentum in, in the right direction for ourselves. And I think we are, we are at the beginnings of that process. So the current generation of CEOs, leaders in civil society and elsewhere need to do some serious reflection about what kind of South Africa we want in the future at an ethical, a business culture level, and how, how can we change, uh, as I said, uh, the business culture, not just in terms of this factor, but also in terms of the factor of inclusivity. Mm. We are still not an inclusive economy. We still do not create in a conscious way, in an organized way, in a structured way, enough of an opportunity for marginalized people historically, but new entrants as well, to enter this economy and, and make a go of it. So I think we've got uh, potentially over the next five or so years, uh, a very rich mix uh, available to us depending on the kind of choices we make. How do we create, at a very deep level, a common goal where we agree that for my business to thrive, it has to have a purpose, and the purpose is not the bottom line. Grow the economy, invest in the economy, think of different ways of, of restructuring our economy that will not be disruptive, but in fact supportive uh, of uh, growth on the one hand. But today in the whole world, people are no longer just talking about this number called GDP. Mm. It's how inclusive are you? Who is the beneficiary of this GDP number? Who's creaming off? Is it the 1% versus the 99%? Or are we going to be able to find a more equitable formula? And uh, South Africa has lots going for it. If we, as you correctly say, find the unity of purpose, uh, borrow somebody's Ferrari or whatever car you like, and, and get the turbocharging process going, and perhaps sometimes it's better to actually focus on getting things done, done, and then make a few mistakes, learn and move on, rather than excruciating with reams of paper. Become active, become involved, become aware, and citizens today are very aware of what's going on, uh, both in terms of what's working for them and what might not be working for them. Uh, but, the key, but the key is 
It's our constitution, it's our country, and it's our future. And uh, the road uh, to the dream, as uh, Mariba said, is a long walk to freedom. Uh, we've, just, we've just passed a few milestones to freedom. We want freedom from hunger. We want freedom from unemployment. We want freedom from inequality. We want freedom from racism. We want freedom from sexism. So if you want all of that, you're not going to click a finger and get it. It has to be worked at. And this is where CEOs and leaders come in, right? Set the example. What does it mean to be non-racial in your work environment? What, what forms uh, of activity would you engage in? And how many of us do it, by the way, where you actively promote non-racialism, where you actively promote non-sexism, where you actively promote what I would call now inclusive transformation, let alone inclusive growth, so that we can all say we're part of this very dynamic historical process that is going on changing South Africa 22 years after democracy.